Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Muli, I am Jeffrey Gunkin and I am the founder of Filipino Science Hub. So, welcome to Filipino Hub Research University's training course number four. So, we hope that this training course uh, becomes your practical guide on how to develop an effective research proposal. So, for today, I will be covering the essential elements of a research proposal and I will also be infusing some tips and best practices on how you can strengthen your research proposal to win the favor of funding agencies and essentially win uh, funding grant competitions. Uh, it is our pleasure to introduce our students to the process of research project development and more particularly research proposal writing. And we hope that this training course will also serve as a refresher material for our teachers and students who may have already had some prior experiences in writing up research proposals. Um, Okay, so before we proceed with the discussion, uh, I would like to give you an idea of my background. So, ako po ay Pilipino, um, from Batangas City, and uh, I was born and raised in the Philippines. I was educated in the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, where I took a Bachelor uh, of Science degree in Chemistry. And um, in 2009, I moved to Canada to uh, take up my doctorate degree in Chemistry. Um, Uh, after graduating from my PhD uh, program, I moved on to the States to venture into a research uh, and development career over uh, the industry and the government laboratory uh, sectors. And so, you know, I have had uh, a total about, of about 14 years worth of experience um, when it comes to research and development. And um, over those 14 years, I have also been um, fortunate enough Uh, to get involved in a number of research proposal development. And so what I'm actually doing for today is that I am not just giving you a regurgitation of textbook approaches to research proposal writing, but what I actually did was um, it, during the preparation of uh, this training course, I went back and revisited like all those research proposals that I have written back in the days. I have dissected them down to uh, their common framework and it's actually that common design of research proposals that I will be sharing with you. So ito po ay practical guide based on my experiences and um, as I have mentioned, I have worked for a number of different organizations uh, that are venturing into research and uh, these essential elements are the exact same elements that make up Uh, research proposals that you're writing for an academic um, research project, for a government lab research project, and also for an industrial um, company's uh, research and development um, proposal uh, initiatives. So, so these are the questions that prompted us to put together this training course. So, no una po, whenever we go back home to the Philippines and we do outreach activities, um, essentially interacting with high school teachers and asking them um, what training uh, materials uh, they need to be able to initiate a research project more effectively, uh, we're usually asked uh, the question of how do we write a research proposal? And um, those questions are, tip are typically followed up by Uh, specific questions like what are the parts of a research proposal so um, yan po marami pong medyo nalilito po sa atin ano pa yung mga essential part kasi depending on uh, which particular funding agency you're um, applying for um, support uh, they do have their own preferences in terms of uh, the format of or the composition of a research proposal so um, I'm hoping that um, after this training course you will have an idea of the most essential Uh, components of a research proposal that you need to write in um, that you need to write for whatever uh, funding agency you're submitting it to and then the second um, specific questions uh, question that we typically get is um, in addition to identifying the different parts of a research proposal what type of information or like what level of granularity or, or detail should you actually provide whenever you're writing a research proposal so uh, gaano po yung bakalalim yung pagkakasulat ng research proposal and when do you know that the level of detail is enough already to convince the funding agency and so I'm hoping that um, in this course uh, we can give you uh, an idea as to uh, how much effort they exert in terms of your research of information um, to put into 
uh, a research proposal and then again at the same time how to frame uh, the language in such a way that you are really convincing that funding institution that you are the right person to work uh, on this idea and that your idea is the best there is um, that deserves um, their resources. So, okay, so to answer these questions, um, for this training course, there are three key takeaways that I would like for you to bring with you um, after this webinar. So the first of which is, uh, we hope that you'd be um, more familiar with the different parts of a research proposal, each part's purpose, and um, is a, uh, the essential information that uh, you should include in, in, in those specific um, components. Uh, secondly, we'll provide tips and best practices in terms of like how you can make your research proposal as convincing as possible. And then um, for the benefit of our teachers and students, uh, I will also be uh, introducing to you the concepts of research project planning and management and to make this experience uh, more relatable um, we will be providing like specific examples framed around the concept of developing a research project that involves um, the synthesis of gold nanoparticles for a specific application and for the benefit of those who have actually not attended our previous seminar this is the exact same case study that i use for our training course on the design of experiments so gagawin po namin thematic po ito so lahat na po ng mga training courses namin uh, we will try to make use of one um, specific example just to make sure that you know you can visualize um, how a concept can be developed from um, ideation all the way up to um, data processing and science communication but um, allow me to qualify po, uh, that this specific case study that we are uh, providing here just for the purpose of exemplification uh, this is a hypothetical case study po. so i uh, don't, don't don't so don't take this example as though i'm giving you a specific uh, topic to work on because ito po ay uh, for for demonstration purposes lamang okay so before we begin discussing the parts of our research proposal the very first question that we have to be able to answer and be very familiar with would be the definition of a research proposal. So a research proposal is a request for support uh, for sponsored research, instruction, or extension project. So this is a request. So again, a request has to be quite convincing. And um, what does this research, what, what does this request uh, typically consist of? A research proposal should provide a background of the proposed work. So what information convinced you to work on this area? What's the conventional wisdom uh, within the proposed area of study? Um, a research proposal also puts into detail the proposed idea. So, you know, from a very broad research topic, what specific scope are you trying to cover? So, dito na po papasok, uh, what are the specific research questions that you're trying to answer? And then the scope of the work, which is very important. Um, a re a well-written re research proposal should have a fairly well-defined um, scope. So, yan po, we will discuss that in greater detail later on. Um, a research proposal should also provide a work plan. So, um, in order for you to work or to answer those research questions, um, you have to put into detail, how will you get there? What specific activities do you need to do? Uh, what type of experiments do you need to carry out to get to the answers? And when I said answers, a research proposal also provides a list of anticipated milestones. So, ano po ba yung mga resulta? Ano po ba yung mga sagot sa tanong na ina-anticipate na makuha ninyo? And um, yeah, how will that help establish uh, the the concept or, or the ideas that they're trying to develop you know, from your research activities. And most importantly, a research proposal provides a list of impacts. So what's the importance of doing, of working on your re proposed research idea? Who will benefit from it? Um, what will be the effects of it like to the society? you know, to the area of study. Um, so these are some of the questions that, and, and information that you have to be able to put into a proposal. Okay, so what would, how would this information fit within a, re within a written proposal? So what are the most common uh, elements of a research proposal? And these are 
um, the first five concepts that I will be uh, discussing in greater detail in the succeeding slide. So the first of which a proposal should have a title and a list of proponents. Um, a proposal should have a summary or an abstract. Um, there's the body of the proposal, which is composed of a bunch of different subsections, and later po natin yan discuss. Um, the proposal should have a section dedicated for the anticipate uh, for the anticipated value of the research. So, bakit ba mahalaga yung research program or project that you are trying to uh, propose or to, to solicit support for? And then lastly, um, very importantly, we need to provide a set of references. So, saan ba natin nakuha yung information that we included in the proposal? Uh, that is very important too. And then um, after we've discussed like all the most essential elements of a research proposal, as I have mentioned before, I will be introducing to you the topics of um, uh, expertise and research management related to um, relating to uh, a research program. Um, you know, how you can more effectively communicate, you know, how a research program can contribute to the training and development of everyone involved. So like students and, you know, collaborators. And then lastly, um, I will also briefly touch on the importance of uh, covering intellectual property in as early as the proposal development stage.